Oki. A good night kiss, written by Jillian Harker, illustrated by Andy Everett Stewart. It's bedtime now, Oki said. Mom. Oki curled up in the chair. His ears began to droop, and he muttered, "Oh, that's not fair." Have a drink first," smiled Mom. "Then you must go." Five minutes more," begged Oki. Mom answered, "No." Oki's ears drooped, and off he went. But he was back in a flash. Where's your drink? asked Mom. You haven't been very long. You look scared. Oki, is there something wrong? There's a monster in the kitchen. With long, sh- white, shaggy hair, lurking in the corner behind the rocking chair," said Oki. Mom laughed. "Oh, Oki, you've made a mistake. That's no monster. It's a mop." And she gave the mop a shake. Oki's ears drooped. And off he went, but he was back in a flash. What's the matter? asked Mom. There's a ghost in the hallway, hovering around. Look there! It is floating, just above the ground. He wailed. Oh, Oki, you've made a mistake. That's no ghost. It's just an old coat, hanging on the hook. Coats don't float," laughed Mom. Oki's ears drooped, and off he went. But he was back in a flash. "Why aren't you in bed, Oki?" asked Mom. "There's a great big lump beneath the sheets. It's waiting to get me." I'm scared. It's going to pounce. Please come and see," sniffed Oki. "Oh, Oki, you've made a mistake. The only thing underneath the sheets is your old teddy bear," smiled Mom. Oki's ears drooped, and he got into bed, but he didn't close his eyes. Why aren't you asleep? asked Mom. There are huge, creepy crawlies underneath my bed, and I can't get the thought of them out of my head," complained Oki. They're just your slippers, Oki, so there's no need to hide. They won't be creeping. Anywhere without your feet inside," grinned Mom. "That's it now, Oki. Time to say good night." Mom turned and left the room, switching off the lights. And then Oki saw it standing by the door. The monster. It moved across the floor. And walked straight towards him, with its arms stretched out. Oki's mouth opened, but he found he couldn't shout. The monster leaned over him, and Oki closed his eyes. What happened next gave Oki an enormous surprise. The monster picked him up. And cuddled him tight. Monsters just don't do that. This couldn't be right. 
Then Mom's voice whispered, "Don't worry, it's just me. When I said good night just now, I forgot to give you this." Then Monster Mom gave Oki a good night kiss. Hope you enjoyed the story. Good night, buddies.